Okay, I hope you've seen I'm Still Working's video on what she got at Lowe's on clearance for the canning supplies. Well, I got my happy little self out there this morning and I have to share the haul with you. <laughs> um, what you need to do is if you can't find the canning supplies, go to the front counter of customer service and ask where it is um, because I didn't even know they had canning supplies. It's so well hidden. So um, I have to show this to you because I really, I really made a good deal. Um, what you're going to see is I've got the list prices. These are the prices at the Ball website because these are really prices that I have paid, um, even in the stores, some higher. And um, anyway, I just wanted to show you this. Okay, so this is the Ball Blue Book, regularly $5.99. It was marked down for $1.41. Here's a collapsible funnel, brand new collapsible funnel, $4.99. I got it for $0.86. Cents. This here is fruit fresh. Now looking at the expiration date, 2014, all of the stuff that I got is um, dated if, you know, two, two and a half years from now. So I will definitely use this. I have paid five and six dollars for this, especially if you're stuck and you're at the grocery store. You're gonna pay them. I've paid $5.95 for this. $4.49 on the ball website. 59 cents. That's all they had were six jars. So I got them because I'm going to use them. You use them for your peaches, applesauce, pears, anything, you know, to prevent the browning. Fruit fresh. Okay. Instant pectin. Instant pectin. These are the small batches uh, for no cook freezer jam. 99 cents regularly. Got it for nine cents. Here's classic pectin. Um, again, this is a small batch. Now, I think this is, I would imagine, for canning, you know, versus the freezer. And I'm planning on doing a lot of um, jams and for pies. I made these little mini cheesecakes um, after my sister-in-law made them, and they came out really good. And But I bought a can of um, it was blackberries. It, it was $3 for one can, over $3 for a can of blackberry pie filling. So I'm going to make pie filling. So these are 99 cents. These were 99 cents. I got them for 13 cents a packet. Here's instant pectin, some jars of it, $4.99. I got it for 44 cents a piece. Classic pectin. $4.99, 92 cents. It's a little bit higher, but again, look, June 14th. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Now, I think using liquid pectin is a little easier. They didn't have any liquid pectin, so hopefully I will become proficient in using <laughs> the powdered kind. We'll see. You know, I think I'm taking a risk. Um, this Fiesta Salsa Mix, you know, I wasn't going to get it. But the lady at Lowe's, she was so nice. She went up on the rafters, got all everything down that was even boxed up for their inventory. And she had her little scanner, and she was scanning everything and told me what the price was. I love salsa, but I just didn't know, you know. Hopefully this tastes good. Look, it's a new formula, you know. I'm not sure about the chemicals. But anyway... Uh, $5.99, it was only $0.50. Cents. So it's like, okay, so for $0.50, cents, I think I could try it. Pickle Crisp. For pickles, this works really well. Um, and so I ended up buying one the other, about a month or two ago. $5.99, I got it for $0.99. Cents. So I thought that was still a really good deal. And... Here's bread and butter pickle mix, and I guess this is already pre-mixed and stuff, so I figured I would try it. You know, I'm not going to use it in conjunction with the pickle crisp because it has pickle crisp in it. $5.99, 83 cents. Okay, here's really good deals coming up right here. These are the regular mouth lids. Now, you always go through lids. Everybody knows you go through lids. 
You get a lot of bands left over because you take the bands off the lid, but you always need the new lids because you throw those out after you use them. So I have paid two and three dollars for these. They were on sale for 31 cents a box. Okay, so I got 25. Over here we have the wide mouth lids, regularly $3.25. I got them for 38 cents for a box, a box. So yes, I got a case of them. This case was $13. If it was regularly at the 30, uh, at the $3.25 price, it would have been 117 bucks or something. So looking at the numbers, and my chicken scratch, I just was calculating it real quick. The total retail price would have been $359. I paid $47.25. That's a savings of $312. 87% savings. One last thing I wanted to show you was this. I got Job's Organic Spikes. This was $5 originally. I got it for $0.40 cents and it's organic. So um, I don't know. We'll see how it is. I might use it for something. I couldn't go wrong. $0.40. Cents. Um, there was also some other organic uh, fertilizer. It was regularly $9.97, but, and it was for a quart of it, and I guess it's concentrated or whatever. And um, so it was marked down at clearance $2.99. So I grabbed a bottle. I go to the register, and it was marked down even further for $0.30. Cents. So I ran back and got four more bottles. And the only difference between that and what was on the shelf was that had the sprayer with the hose that you attached to it and the other one wasn't. So I was like, well, fine. I don't care. I don't need that. So it's in the garage. I don't feel like getting it, but it's organic fertilizer <laughs> for 30 cents. I mean, you know, come on. Um, normally I use my compost and compost tea and seaweed and stuff. But anyway, I just really wanted to share with you this haul because... Um, Big credit to I'm Still Working for sharing that with us. You saved me a lot of money, and I, I do appreciate it. So thanks, everybody. Go to Lowe's quick and ask customer service where the canning stuff is. Bye.